Pertama pasal uh, harga minyak naik. Uh, pertama, ya, kita nak kena faham bahawa uh, pengiraan harga minyak ini ialah berdasarkan harga bulan Oktober. Bermakna pada bulan uh, 1 bulan Oktober sampai 31 bulan Oktober, average price ini digunakan pakai untuk November. Dalam bulan Oktober, harga meningkat. Jadi average itu digunakan pakai untuk bulan November. No bulan November, average bulan November akan digunakan pakai untuk Disember. So sekiranya harga jatuh uh, dalam bulan November, maka bulan Disember harga akan jatuh. Sebab kita tak pakai everyday price. Kita pakai weighted average price untuk preceding month. Itu sebab dia naik. Dan kedua, faktor kedua yang apa ni menentukan harga minyak ini ialah uh, currency kita. Kalau kita punya nilai uh, ringgit kita jatuh berbanding US dollar, uh, dia juga merupakan salah satu dada faktor yang menjejaskan uh, uh, harga uh, minyak uh, untuk kita tentukan pada bulan seterusnya. Itu Well, you know, you look at uh, the oil price, I think... We have float this oil price, yeah. So that means if the oil price drop, we will equally reduce the price. But the way we adjust it is actually based on preceding month. So if you that I explain just now, you know, if that that particular month, say for January and first uh, October, twenty fifth October, if the price go up, then the following month we will use that weighted average to de- determine the price. So depending on up and down, there is a certain month we reduce the price ten cent. Certain month we reduce the price five cents. Certain month we reduce five five fifteen cents. Just for your information, I think based on October price, actually the price supposed to be twenty cents. But you know, the Yama Bromat Parliament feel that you know we should reduce a little bit because it cannot be take so much. So hopefully in November, if the market uh, improve, then hopefully we don't need to even do any increase. Or maybe we can reduce if the oil price drop. But that one I cannot be specific on that because you know uh, any oil price translated to how many percent of their cost that we need to calculate. Okay. There's no saving. No, current the government still subsidize almost about 400 million. Total, we still subsidize 400 million still. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because the difference between this uh, this market is if we look at Korea and also Japan, their their bond market is very active because their retail also strong. But we our bond market is good, you know, very deep, very wide coverage. But uh, you know, uh, but the retail is 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 not there yet. Why? Because I think kita punya uh, interest rate is high. I mean, orang boleh simpan duit dalam bank. FD dapat 3% for whereas Japan you simpan duit dalam bank you dapat less than even 0.5% you know less than 1% uh, some of it even negative so therefore they go to a bond whereas macam kita kita punya interest rate still about 3 3.4 3.5 so I think therefore people have an option Atau kita that. kurangkan interest rate Well I think kita nak kena tengok this this monetary policy ni bank negara will decide lah I think uh, I don't want to comment that Huh? Any adjustments? Any adjustments? No, that one I think Benegara. Monetary I think Benegara. Okay.